Ван Фуд Флипа. Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. I'm in my office filming area. I don't really like filming here because the background is such a mess, but when I have to, I'm doing a more complicated instructional video or I've got to look at things on my computer screens, I've got to film up here. So that's what we've got today. And my last instructional video that had no sales, no pickups, nothing that was purely just about eBay and how to do things on eBay has done so well, I decided it's time for another one. One thing that I'm continually hearing is that all oh, my sales have died, my items aren't selling, why aren't my items selling? You hear that constantly in any message group about eBay. You hear it in the eBay forums. You hear other YouTubers saying it. And every time I actually deep dive into one of those situations, I almost always find what the problem is, and it's usually pretty obvious. Now, this might not be you. Let's pretend this isn't you. This is everybody else we're talking about but you. Doesn't describe you, doesn't describe your mom, your mom's boyfriend, any of those people, not the people living in your basement. This is about all those other people that we don't know. So what I decided I was gonna do in this video, I was gonna go to the eBay forums, and I was gonna pick the very first thread that popped up complaining about sales. And then I was gonna look at that person's store and figure out exactly why their items aren't selling. So that's what I did. I went there and I saw this nice person, 659 feedback very and with a very large store. I have been selling off and on since 2003, but sales are extremely slow this year. Angry, sad face. Now, now, this video is not about making fun of this person. That's why I have blurred out blurred out their name and ev everywhere that it was going to appear in this video. We're not calling this person out by name at all. It's not about that. This could have literally been anybody who posts one of these threads because every time I've looked at one, it's always been the same thing. So... And what that is, is that most eBay sellers, they do little to no price research, and they just guess prices. Now, price guessers are really easy to spot because you'll see the same prices over and over again. You'll see that they have 500 plus listed in their store, and that most of them are $14.99, then you have some $9.99s and some $18.99s. And... That's not how real-world prices work. If they were researching those prices, they wouldn't be hitting those extremely even numbers over and over and over again. Or recently, when I looked at Harry Tornado's store, he sold two or three video games in the same day for the Nintendo uh, Switch, I think it was, and he, all of them were listed at the same price and they don't all sell at the same price. Video games do not sell at the same price to the penny, not on eBay. They sell at the same price to the, maybe in the store, maybe at Walmart, there's a whole row of games that are $29.99, but prices on the internet fluctuate up and down. But some people, they just guess. They just use their gut. They don't bother to look at what's currently available or what has already sold. And that research is honestly the most important thing you can do if you're outside of the clothing arena or the other hard to search things. When you're selling easy to search things, that price research is the most important thing you can do. But most sellers don't do it. I know you do it. You do it. Your mom's boyfriend does it. The people living in your basement, they price research. But these other people, they do not do it. Or the ones who do price research they look at active they seem to look at active listings only and then they'll just put their item right in the middle as if that could possibly work you, you ever go search for something then you go and search price lowest first and then scroll halfway down the page and buy the one halfway down i've never done that my mom doesn't do that people living in my mom's basement don't do that so why would you do that or why would you expect other people to do that okay we're going to go ahead and look at this person's store uh their store is mostly plush 
a lot of plush. I'm not going to dive into their plush other, other than to say that there are extremely repetitive price points, like I had mentioned before. Tons of $14.99. Tons of... And there's a lot of either fake sales or ridiculous original prices that now have percent offs on them. I'm not sure which it is, but there's a lot of that in there as well. There's also... The store also has a lot of makeup in it with stock photos, but but the, their makeup itself isn't actually stock. A lot of it is boxless or open box, and they have a lot of stuff that looks like it came from the dollar store. But I decided we're going to find some items that are easy to comp, because if they can't price research these things that are easy to comp, then there's no hope for the harder, harder to price research stuff. And the first thing we're going to look at is this Chipmunk Adventure DVD. And theirs is $25.54 shipped. That is including a sale, which may or may not be a real sale. Could be a fake all-the-time sale. I'm not sure which it is. I don't know if they put this in and then immediately put it 10% off or not. But what's important is they looks like they did the tiny bit of price research here they didn't just guess this but instead they seemed to do the thing where they went in and they looked at the listings and they stuck theirs in the middle thinking that would sell for some reason there are five sellers cheaper on this dvd but the more important thing is it's obvious they didn't research solds because this dvd really sells at twenty dollars shipped if it comes up at $20 ships or under, it sells every time. There's only a tiny, only a tiny percentage of the price history is actually over or approaching the price that they're asking. And there's of the 60 or 70 solds, only two were actually as high as their, their price was. So you can't hope to just get the highest price ever. That's not going to happen, especially if you're not a specialist in that sort of item. If you're a specialist, somebody might be browsing your store, buying other items from you, and go ahead and get that higher priced one. But if they're just searching for that one thing because you're not a DVD store, you have no chance of being up at the top of the prices. All right, the next thing I picked is these Emotion Puffy stickers because I thought they'd be extremely easy to search, and they were. There's currently two people attempting to sell these things. This seller attempting to sell them for $9.99 shipped at a 33% off from $14.99. However, their only competitor gives you six packs of stickers for $9.99. And there's no sales history for these items whatsoever. These look like they came from the dollar store. So no hope there, especially when your competitor is giving you six, six for the same price and they're still not selling. All right, this next listing, beautiful picture, a Grubhub official insulated food delivery tote bag. I almost think these are probably stolen stock photos or this, or maybe this seller is just really good at photos. It tends to, their photos tend to vary. Some of their photos seem to be stock photos that definitely taken from elsewhere, like I've seen all over their makeup. But this listing has great photos. And this Grubhub bag they have listed for $50 shipped. $50.10, actually. But the competition has this bag at around $20 shipped. Now the photos are worse, but it's the exact same bag. So massively far off on this one and it might also possibly be because of the detail that they've really messed up their calculated shipping i that's probably part of the problem it says thirty dollars and ten cents calculated shipping i think they guessed a wait and then put in probably 22 by 22 by 12 as the size as if this thing didn't wouldn't fold down and ship for seven dollars because it would. I'm actually looking at these other people. This thing will fold down and, and ship first class. But for some reason, they're shipping it not folded down at a massive price. All right. Now we're going to go into the realm of shoes. They've got these toddler shoes here. These Nike girl sandals. 3Y, blah, blah, blah. A lot of extra stuff. New without box. $34.19. 
Seems like a lot of money for toddler shoes, but they are Nike, so it's believable. And Dave, obviously, she's obviously done some price research uh, because it's not completely out of the realm of possibility for these things. Uh, when you look at solds, you, you can see here that they tend to sell in new other tends to sell for 25 to 30 to 33 and she's only barely above that price but barely above can be the difference between selling and not selling in fact in the sales history the only seller who ever got the price that this person's asking was an all shoe store and remember you're not even especially in things like shoes you're not competing against just that exact same shoe you are competing against hundreds of similar shoes and especially in the th case of things like these toddler shoes these often don't get worn out and a lot of parents are just more interested in their kid having the nike logo on it and this same shoe sells used for around 15 dollars shipped so right there looking at that this is why this person's items aren't selling because they're either not researching prices at all in the case of a lot of the plush and i think actually a lot of the makeup because there's a lot of repetitive price points there and the ones that i did research the price on they seem to be items that would that seem to sell instantly below a certain price point and not at all above that price point and this seller is consistently right just above the price point that they never sell at so one thing I think you should take away from this is why do you think anybody, given the choice, is going to pay extra for an item? Most people do not take the first thing that, sh that comes in front of them, especially when they're looking for a specific item. They're going to research based on price, and if your price isn't the best or close to the best, you've got no chance at all. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about hard to compare things here, not talking about clothes. I'm only barely talking about shoes. The only reason I even looked at those shoes is because this person had so few easy to comp items in their store. But yeah, clothes, glass, antiques, not talking about those items. It's still very easy to price those items wrong and too high. But at least you might have an excuse because at least those are hard to research. But things that are easy to research, things with a barcode, you have no excuse at being over market on those items and expecting them to sell because they're not going to. Not at all. All right, I'm sure I will get a lot of people disagreeing with me on this one and saying how they price things up all the time and how they're doing great and good for them. And I'm sure sure you're doing great doing whatever you're doing this is aimed at other people not me not my cousin not the people down the street this is aimed at people that i don't know it's all these mystery people who post these threads saying what why their sales have died and then i go back and i look and i see consistently that their prices are just a little bit not competitive and sometimes it's just so close this store i feel was so close they're only off by about 15%, but that 15% is the difference between zero sales and all the sales. All right, thanks. Hope to see you again. Hey, I never say this, but why don't you, why don't you subscribe if you're not subscribed or hit the bell or the like or post 17 comments. I don't normally talk about that sort of thing, but I'm going to this time. All right, thanks. Hope to see you again soon.